let's have a look at what we can do when we've got the equations in a different, slightly different format, another method. Okay, so say for example, we have an equation 6x take away 3y equals 12. Then when we're talking about this intercept method, what that's looking at is thinking about our x-axis and our y-axis. And if I could locate on those axes the y-axis where the, um, this equation cuts my y-axis and where it cuts my x-axis, I could then join that together and draw myself a straight line that goes through those points. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do, is we're trying to locate these two intercepts. How do we do that? Well, let's think for a moment. If I'm trying to find a y-intercept, then think about our x-axis. Negative values, negative values, negative values, getting closer and closer to zero, and now we're going positive values of x. Okay, so on, as in terms of our x values, when x is equal to 0, that's what our y-intercept is going to be. So our y-intercept occurs when x is equal to 0. So I'm going to take that x equals 0 and substitute it into my equation here. So I'm going to get 6 times 0, take away 3y equals 12. So anything times 0 is 0, so that becomes 0. So minus 3y equals 12. Divide both sides by negative 3 to get the y by itself. And that's going to give me y is equal to positive divided by negative is negative. 12 over 3 is 4. So that tells me on my y-axis, it's going to cut through my y-axis at negative 4. So that's my y-intercept. What about now our x-intercept? So we want to find where it's going to cut that x-axis, so where it's cutting through here. So let's think, here's our y values, positive, 0, negative. So again, when y is equal to 0, then that's my x-coordinate. So I'm going to substitute y equals 0 into this equation and solve to find my x-intercept. So I'm going to get 6 times x minus 3 times 0, equals 12. 3 times 0 is 0, so I'm going to get 6x equals 12. Divide both sides by 6, and that gives me x equals 2. So that tells me it's going to cut my x-axis at 2. And now I can draw my line that goes through those coordinates. So there's example 1 for you. Let's have a look at another example, going through the same process, okay? So 3x plus 2y equals 90. So I'm going to start off and think, right, if I want my y-intercept, that means I need to substitute x equals 0 into the equation. So 3 times 0 plus 2y equals 90. 0 times anything is 0. 2y equals 90, divide both sides by 2, and that gives me y equals 45. Now find my x-intercept, and to do that I need to substitute in y is equal to 0. So 3x plus 2 times 0 is equal to 90, so 3x equals 90, x is equal to 90 over 3, which means x is equal to 30. So now when I come to draw this graph, it's going to cut my y-axis at 45, 20, 30, 40, 50, so right about there, and it's going to cut my x-axis at 30, 10, 20, 30, right about there. And I'm going to draw a line that goes through those two points. And there we are.